Hello students, today we are going to see about DTFT problem that is we are going to find out DTFT of x of n equal to a power minus n u of minus n minus 1. So actually the DTFT formula is given by x of e power j omega which is equal to summation n equal to minus infinite to infinite x of n e power minus j omega n. So first we need to simplify the x of n term then we have to substitute in this summation. So here they have given a power minus n u of minus n minus 1. So we know that anyway u of n value is 1 but what is the limit that we have to find out. So what is u of minus n? It is time reversed signal. So u of minus n we can draw like this. So this is the u of minus n value that is 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4 and it so on. Okay. So u of n is 1 for n greater than or equal to 0. Okay. u of n is 1 for n greater than or equal to 0. So u of minus n is 1 for n less than or equal to 0. Okay. So using that we have reversed u of minus n. This signal exists from minus infinity to 0. The value is 1. Okay, so like this we have to draw. So now they have they didn't given u of minus n, but it is u of minus n minus 1 that is reversed and time shifted signal. Okay, so u of minus n minus 1 we need to find out. Minus n minus 1 equal to 0 since it is a shifted signal substitute this functional value to 0. So what is n? n equal to minus 1. So this signal will be shifted by minus 1. So what happens minus 1 means left hand side we have to shift the signal. So 0 plus minus 1 will become minus 1. So one time left side it will be shifted. So like this it will come. Instead of minus infinity to 0 it will be moved to minus infinity to minus 1. Okay. Because minus infinity minus 1 is what uh, again minus infinity. So it will be going on like this minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5 and so on up to your minus infinity. Okay. So u of minus n exists for minus infinity to 0, u of minus n minus 1 exists for minus infinity to minus 1. Again the amplitude is what? 1. There is no change in the amplitude. So I can write that u of minus n minus 1 equal to 1 for minus infinity to minus 1 ok. So this you have to know first before solving the problem ok. So once you have determined this I can write x of n as what x of n equal to a power minus n anyway u of minus n minus 1 is what uh, 1 which exists for minus infinity to minus 1. So which is equal to minus a power n because minus a power n into 1 is minus a power sorry a power minus n a power minus n a power minus n into 1 is a power minus n which exists for minus infinity to minus 1. So using this here general summation exists for minus infinity to minus infinity minus infinity to plus infinity but here x of n ranges from minus infinity to minus 1. So I can write it as minus infinity to minus 1. What is x of n? x of n is a power minus n. a power minus n. e power minus j omega n. Okay. And generally this formula write summation value n equal to minus infinity to minus 1 means let us convert this into positive power. Okay. Positive limits. Okay. So minus infinity to minus 1 I am going to change it as plus values that is n equal to infinity to 1 like this I am going to change the summation limits instead of negative limits I am changing it as positive limits. So for this what you have to do means wherever you have n that you have to change as minus n minus n we have to change as plus n that is reversal of your n value we have to take okay if it is negative convert it into positive if it is positive convert it into negative why because here I am changing the negative limits to positive limits so here minus n will become plus n okay if suppose I have plus n it will become minus n so now here it will become 
plus n similarly here also one minus n is there it will become e power j omega n ok so like this you can rewrite the summation instead of your negative limits just to take positive limits convert the negative limits to positive limits so once you have done ok you can interchange and write this value usually smaller value we have to write down upper higher value we will write as a upper limit so just change this as 1 to infinity which will not affect your values ok generally in the integration if we change the limits we will put one minus sign ok that will not come in the summation ok so just change your values such that lower value comes here higher values comes here so this will become e power n a power n e power j omega n ok so now in order to apply your formula that is uh, summation n equal to 0 to infinity x power n ok generally what we will do we will take power n outside similarly here also take power n outside so what are all the basis you have a e power j omega ok so once you have re rewritten the expression like this now substitute your values of n ok so x of e power j omega is summation n is equal to 1 to infinity a e power j omega the whole power n right so that is your final value which we have obtained now substitute n equal to 1 so when n is equal to 1 it is a e power j omega when n is equal to 2 it is a e power j omega the whole square when n is equal to 3 that is next next value of n you have to substitute and write all the terms in the summation ok so a e power j omega the whole cube and it goes on ok so now we know the general formula is what 1 plus x plus x square and so on is 1 by 1 minus x in order to apply this this term I have to rewrite as 1 plus some term 1 plus x plus x square so let me take this first term commonly outside ok rewrite the expression so what happened here it is 1 here it will become a e power j omega here it will become a e power j omega the whole square ok because a e power j omega commonly you are taking outside from all the terms ok so now it is looking like 1 plus x so this term is x right 1 plus x plus x square so how we can write this it is 1 by 1 minus what is x a e power j omega ok so if you want you can stop with this ok or if you want to rewrite the term somewhat ok generally we will write e power j omega minus some term if you want to rewrite like that ok you just keep your numerator a e power j omega as it is denominator what the coefficient of e power j omega take outside so minus a take outside it will become 1 by minus a plus e power j omega ok so now a a get cancelled it is minus e power j omega ok so 1 by minus 1 is minus 1 minus e power j omega divided by first write e power j omega e power j omega minus 1 by a ok so if you want you can stop with this ok or else just rewrite the expression like this so now it is looking like e power j omega divided by e power j omega minus 1 by a so this is the final answer so Fourier transform of a power minus n u of minus n minus 1 is minus e power j omega divided by e power j omega minus 1 by a ok this is the final answer ok thank you thanks for watching